Welcome to another video. In this video, we will continue learning mental health nursing starting with group therapy. Group therapy in mental health is when groups of individuals interact together with a shared purpose. Note that the nurses typically are not doing group psychotherapy as this is outside the scope of practice, but structured psychoeducational groups. Topics focused on include medication education, anger management, coping skills, relaxation stress reduction techniques, assertiveness training, etc. There are phases of group development that you will need to know for your mental health exams. This is basically orientation, working and termination phase. In the last video, we went over the each phase. Please view that video for information. Overall in the orientation phase, termination and separation of the relationship are discussed in anticipation. This is a must-know for exams. Therapy is a type of treatment that involves open therapeutic dialogue with people who are willing to participate. Although individual therapy is an important treatment for mental illness, many clients in mental health settings also get group and family therapy as part of their treatment plan. Leaders are in charge of group and family therapy and can use a variety of leadership techniques. Democratic leadership encourages communal decision-making and involvement in order to address challenges. More than one customer can be participating in a group environment. Groups provide each client with possibilities for personal development and a sense of belonging. Laissez-faire leadership is characterized by the absence of any attempt by the leader to exert control over the course of the organization. In autocratic leadership, the leader has entire control over the organization's direction and structure, and no group engagement or decision-making is allowed to solve problems. Now, out of curiosity, which leadership style do you think is beneficial for group therapy? Leave a comment below and explain why. Stress management, drug abuse problems, medication education, mental disease understanding, and dual diagnosis groups are all examples of group therapy. The group therapy session components are the following. Use of open and clear communication. Focus on a specific objective. Consistency and rules for the therapy session. Encouragement of the client to optimize pleasant encounters, feel empowered to make decisions, and increase emotions of self-worth. Group therapy sessions should allow the patient opportunities for interpersonal skill development, settlement of personal and family difficulties, and formation of acceptable, rewarding relationships. The group therapy goals are the following. Diminishing feelings of isolation. Sharing common feelings and concerns. Sharing stories and experiences. Creating a community of healing and restoration. There are therapeutic factors of group therapy. These factors include the following. Instill hope. Patients require hope primarily for healing, health promotion, rehabilitation, and end-of-life care. It's a crucial psychological tool for individuals dealing with chronic illness. It increases their self-esteem, feelings of control, interpersonal interactions, and overall quality of life. For example, the leader promotes optimism about success of group therapy. Altruism. Group members can share their strengths and help others in the group, which can boost self-esteem and confidence. Members gain from giving support to others, which allows for an improvement of self-worth and purpose. Universality. Members realize that they are not alone with the problems that they face. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video we will continue the lesson by learning about anxiety and anxiety disorders. Thanks for watching.